uh, the latest to come to us from Sofia Coppola, and that is Priscilla. And it is about as opposite of Elvis as possible. I'm going to go ahead and start on this one. Uh, like I said, it is directed by Sofia Coppola. We don't get much from her very often, so it's always kind of cool when we get something from her, especially when it's uh, uh, when it's a solid outing like this one. Uh, the two main characters are played by Kaylee Spaney and Jacob Alordi as they play Priscilla and Elvis, and it really chronicles the relationship between these two and how uh, how it develops, how it thrives and eventually how it falls I, I didn't realize just how young priscilla was when she first met elvis that was kind of an interesting uh revelation there <clears throat> but this movie if you if you like this movie it's all going to come down to how much you can appreciate what these two uh are doing especially what kaylee spaney's doing as priscilla it, it's it's a it's a very subtle movie compared to elvis i mean Every movie is subtle compared to Elvis, <laughs> <That's the> truth, <laughs> but yeah. this one, it, it, it like makes a point to be, to be subtle and where, where Baz Luhrmann's Elvis was like trying to span the, the entirety and tell the, the whole story. This one feels more like a, like little, little motifs of different portraits of their life kind of, kind of throughout. And so you get little, just little snippets here and there. It's not meant to be an all encompassing thing, but it's really just, Let's let's give you some good moments to show the character study that we are developing here. Like I said, Haley Spaney is pretty amazing as Priscilla. The the camera does this really interesting thing where in almost every single shot, it's either her point of view or you're it's like focused on her. Even if it's like a group shot, you for whatever reason, I don't know how they did it, but your your eyes gravitate toward her in every shot and and what she does in those quiet moments of watching her reactions to whatever else is happening in the room is really where this movie has some brilliance to it uh also jacob alordi as as uh as elvis is brilliant and brings all the subtlety that everyone who didn't like what austin butler did uh, I think we'll love what Jacob Elordi did because he brings that subtlety that Austin Butler lacked and well, just because it was a Baz Luhrmann film and that's not subtle, but this is, this had all the subtleties. We never see performances. And I think that's kind of the point because uh, it's not about him. It's about Priscilla and they really do a good job making it about Priscilla. I, I think Sofia Coppola is a great one to, uh, to bring this, this uh, subject matter to life. I'm giving it a solid three and a half stars. Uh, I was really impressed by what uh, what Priscilla was all about and how they brought this uh, this dynamic between these two characters, one larger than life and one just the quiet one in the in the shadows and how she fought to be out of the shadows. So uh, that's what I thought of Priscilla. And we're going to go Todd next. Todd, what do you think? Uh, yeah, I liked it, too. I, it would be a interesting companion piece to go with Elvis because like this is like the other side of superstardom and the Elvis experience so it's like it's showing him more not being like doing all the uh, things you do when you're super famous so, and which is kind of cool uh, the period details and soundtrack I think are great in this and yeah you said you said Spain is really good I, I agree and it's because she's so convincing as like this young naive jealous girl but then also as like a young woman and you end up feeling for her in the end um, it's it's kind of like an adorable coming of age story at the start, and then it becomes something different. And Alordi is it's much more effortless Elvis portrayal. Like I mean, he he just lives as that. It, for this movie, I think it's flawless casting because I mean, I, the very few people working right now are like Jacob Alordi in in how subtle he is. Um, and the movie overall, it's just it's a really subtle mood watching it it's it's sort of about like the irrationality of young love it's one-sided relationships it's kind of it's kind of interesting i'm i'm not entirely sure why the movie needs to exist though like i, I don't really understand priscilla or her motivations like throughout the movie i'm not really sure what the movie's trying to get at other than just like making a movie about her um but it, it but it's just really well crafted and relaxed and it's hard to ignore it's a high war direction by sofia coppola like i, I can't see anyone else making this movie um but i'm, I'm landing at three stars on this all right, we got three and a half. We got three. Adam, where are you at? 
Yeah, I'm another one that I'm, I'm sitting at three stars here, but I appreciate everything that you did say there. I did have a kind of a problem how dark everything seemed to be. I did go see this at the Grand, so it's a uh, really dark. But it, you did say a point in there that everything was gravitated toward uh, Priscilla here, which is absolutely right because she was like the only one that was seemed to be you could see fully, and everything else was just super dark with all the characters. So it, that caught me off guard, and also the the age difference. I, I dug some digging, which the, I guess the movie did do that justice. It, will, it did me uh, a solid two. There was ten year a ten year gap between Elvis and Priscilla, which uh, definitely makes Elvis come across kind of like a predator, which is like something I wasn't necessarily expecting. I didn't know that whole side of him, and um, did never um, a lordy here too. Just really grounded and really like completely opposite performances Elvis here and I, yeah great again he's kind of better than Austin Butler anyway and the companion piece uh thing was uh you definitely see that larger than life and then this is just like his subtle home moments and at the end of the day I did feel really kind of sad for Spaney's character here she's brilliant in this one and hopefully gets at least some some nomination along the way i don't think she's like going to be oscar but i think she definitely deserves a recognition here coppola i've seen a few like four or five of her movies uh coming her last one being on the rocks with uh, bill murray which i thought was a really kind of a fun fun story there this is definitely a lot uh, different than i was kind of expecting it to be again i was expecting something kind of bright and kind of like something like a jackie spencer mix there but again it told something different and uh, i really enjoyed it and the biggest surprise here i took my wife to see this and i knew this is going to be the air quotes adam's boring movie experience she actually said she liked it too so i thought that was kind of interesting she you could tell that she was like She's like, oh my god, this guy's basically praying, and like you, you could hear her tapping my leg a couple of times because of all those moments where you definitely it's like this is a girl who's in high school still. Uh, I think those has made her really enjoy the character of Priscilla, but not really uh, like Elvis too much. So, uh, really solid film here too, and uh, one of my uh, kind of pleasant surprises because I didn't know how I was going to like it going into, and I, I, I enjoyed it. So three stars. Yeah, the thing I like about uh, looking at it as a companion piece with Elvis is Elvis was all about the public persona, and this yep. is all about the private life. And and so you see those those two sides uh, to it really well. I don't know how many times you just get those those quiet, like, silent moments of just Priscilla sitting or standing in the middle of Graceland, not knowing what to do or where to go. Yeah, uh, just the, hanging low. Yeah. And, and, but every time you see it, you know exactly what it's trying to do and it works. Mm -hmm. Uh, yeah, yeah, it it was, it was really good. There's something else I was going to say and it's, it's lost. So I did have a question though, because uh, Elvis, I honestly, I kind of blocked that out a lot, but did we, uh, see Priscilla in that movie at all? Yeah. I I honestly can't remember. Yeah. Cause they mentioned the Colonel quite a bit in this one, but I, you didn't, they never actually showed him. So. I like Which that is this is more about like him as an actor. <laughs> oh, yeah. that is true. His his acting and his uh, military stuff. I, I kind of appreciate that too. Well, but the and and the, especially because the acting constantly threw an, another leading lady at him, which constantly made Priscilla have to think what is actually going on. Now, oh, that yeah, was but the she other was thing spending was her whole time like reading tabloid, so she's doing that to herself. <laughs> yeah, it's, it's true. It's like just spending your whole your whole day on X, just like but, scrolling down and reading. But stuff. if if <laughs> if he's on the other side of the country and you have no other way of finding anything about him, and the only thing you can do is is look up what what's in the news about him, I mean, I get it. But no, I was gonna say is calls. The, this this movie it is based on a book by Priscilla, so mm-hmm. there there is some. Uh, there is probably quite a bit of truth to that. So uh, there, there is there is that side of it too. All right. Well, we are thrice approved on this. All right. Well, there's Priscilla, like I said, thrice approved. It is in theaters now. Kind of hard to find. Uh, you got to look for it a little bit. But if you uh, if you dig, you'll, you should be able to find a theater in your area where you can find it. Was it fourth right. at the box office? Not Was not it bad. fourth at the box office? That's not bad. That's not bad. Considering there were what? Yeah. Two theaters in the South Sound that were playing it? That, I mean... That's not bad. 